Dazzle your neck with our Africa Collar for a necklace, which is a DIY statement necklace. And guys, it's a simple DIY. For the best creative DIY and fashion content, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a video every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts and fashion that you're able to join. Now it's your turn. So before we start, I want you to measure around your neck just to get your neck circumference. I always add about a half an inch on one side and an inch on the opposite side because of the overlap. Now, if you've never dealt with wax African prints before, I will show you how to get this off. If you see this on your fabric, most people go to the other end and waste it, but you can just put a hot iron on the back side, not the front side and peel it off. Don't try peeling it off like this because most times the sticky stuff will be left on your fabric and then you can't use it. So right now I want to see what my necklace is going to be like. You need one piece that's going to go around your neck for your band and then your other pieces that are all going to drape. Here are my cut pieces. I cut two for the choker part and then I cut 112, 115, 116, 117 and a half, 119, 120. I also included two additional cuts, 30 and 32 inches. I'm gonna fold this over and I'm actually gonna put interfacing in it. And what I did with this piece is I have the option of putting it this way or I can flip it and put it this way and then have all the pieces come around to it. So I'm actually not gonna put my interfacing in this portion yet. I'm gonna put the interfacing in last because I want to iron fold all of these pieces, fold them in half and look at the placement on the neck choker before I decide which side. This is your collar part. I just put the interfacing on half of it from there to there all the way down to the end. And then you're going to take this and you are going to make a little small clip here to notch your center. Now what I'd like you to do is take this and wrap it around your neck. Comfortably check to see how far your, your fabric strip should go. Your fabric strip should not go all the way down because there's a part where it sits on your shoulders and you want everything to fall towards the front. So measure that out and then you can clip it or you can just put a pin and you're going to put your center, this piece, and then we're just going to keep going around it, making sure that each piece fits. When you get to here where your mark is, you want to try and turn your fabric this way. Can you see that? Turn it so that it's this way. It may touch the next strip of fabric, but it's better than to have it bulk out when you have it on. The center one goes straight, the next one goes straight. Does it, as it goes to your shoulder part, remember you're compensating for your collarbone and you're gonna just turn it a little bit. With African fabric, especially if you have a new piece, the way you're going to figure out right side and wrong side is you can tell a little bit. If you're looking to understand fabrics better, I have created a tutorial for you. Just click the card or you can check the link down in the description box. Hopefully you can see that. I don't have my glasses on so it's blurry. This part is right side up. So this part here is the right side of the fabric. We're going to take these pieces and we are going to fold them so that the right side is together. The vibrant part of your color is in the inside when you stitch and we are going to sew up. Now this is up to you how much you want to take off. We put this three inches so right now it's one and a half inches and you can determine if you want yours to be one inch, quarter of an inch, or how much you want to take off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew mine now and then I'm going to determine once I have them all sewn in turn. What I want this necklace to look like, it's my first time making it. Comment down below if you're looking to extend your necklace collection by making one of these African choker necklace. I liked the thinner strips, so I'm going to make this one. Now what I did with this one was I checked my neck and I checked how far the fabric strips can go before it starts buckling. We're going to just press this. So there's two ways that you can iron your fabric strips or casings. One is to have creased the stitch line and then press it down flat like this. The other way you can do it is to fold it in half the stitch line like that so that there's no seam.
Okay guys, you're gonna turn it around and voila. One of the things you're gonna have to do is grade down your bulk because this is a real thick piece here and when you go to before you close it you will have a line see that and you don't want that so I stitch mine twice and what I want to do is make sure that when I grade it that none of this part is coming off then the other thing too is remember interfacing always is the part that shows so meaning that the necklace is going to go this way so inside this is the part that has the interfacing on the part that touches your skin is the part that doesn't have interfacing because you're going to turn that over. The way you would grade this bulk down is clip. Just keep going like that and then I'll roll it over and do the other side. And now you do have a couple of options. So I'm just going to flip this down. I'm going to press it. You can hand baste it so that nothing's seen on this side or you can machine baste it. If you machine stitch it, machine stitch it all the way around. Remember again, you mark, you mark your center front. Then you're going to mark your neck portion, how far these should go because you need it so that it's not buckling up. Now, when you do that, you do have the options to pull these. So you see mine go like this way. Pull them so that they go this way so that when it goes around your neck it lands flat because if you keep it straight it's going to curve like this on your neck okay you can close it off with a piece of velcro on one side and remember the velcro loops go on this side the soft part goes there so you'd pull it up and off or you're gonna put a snap just one snap here this side goes like that or you can put a hook and eye and just hook it it's up to you or even a button if you want you can put a buttonhole and put it on there this is the African collar necklace it looks really nice so remember I made mine smaller I didn't want it to be um, so big because I thought think it looked better on my neck This week we learned how to make the African collar necklace. The statement choker necklace or collar is a great do-it-yourself DIY necklace project that will fit any African style clothing. The African fabric necklace allows you to extend your African print accessories collection. This African necklace craft or choker necklace DIY is a great use of African fabric design for your DIY African print necklace. Now that you know how to make the African Choker Necklace DIY, I have written a nine page designing platform guideline to help you get those creative juices out of your mind and onto a digital platform. I have included some tutorials to help you understand the platforms better. You can download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, are you a creative mind and wanna join a community of like-minded individuals? I do have my Facebook page where we will be sharing information regarding fashion and DIY crafts that you're able to join, check out the link in the description box. Check out these videos next on African Joker Black History Month and also any of my hand-painted mugs DIY celebrating Black History Month and my upcoming video African Joker necklace DIY statement piece. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it with family and friends.